Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? This is Easy Pictures to Draw. Um, kind of the channel where I dedicate uh, everything to caricatures and cute stuff. You know what I mean? So let's kind of go over today's subject. Today's subject is going to be how do you kind of handle uh, gray hair inside of a caricature? You know what I mean? One, that's actually the hardest thing to do, uh, for me anyway. My, one of my hardest things to do was uh, salt and pepper type hair. You know what I'm talking about? This kind of like George Clooney-ish hair. Like, what do you do exactly? If it's just a marker or if it's, um, you know, or if you have like some leeway. So I'm going to be using this Charpec marker. Um, it's one of the markers I've seen at the park. You, I believe you can buy this anywhere. Uh, Charpec, super black. Uh, I think you can buy it at the art store. If not, it's just like a kind of a fancy. It's not even fancy, really. It's just a, it's like a, mag, it literally is a magic marker. Because we were using magic markers at one point, too, which I should probably do that as well. Um, like I'll show you guys me using that as well. Um, but let's kind of go over, I'm going to go over three ways to kind of handle, uh, just kind of gray hair when you get it. Uh, also I'm going to be using this. This is basically a black colored pencil. Uh, this thing says Cre Creta color Nero hard number four, but honestly I consider it just a black colored pencil. I mean, or even a black, uh, kind of, uh, Prisma color pencil without the, you know, we used to use black Prisma colored pencils without the wood portion of it, you know what I mean? So we just call them color sticks. They, they sell them too, but you don't need any of that. I mean, you could use a color stick, but uh, you, black colored pencil is totally fine. A cheap one, completely fine. So let me go over one way with just the marker. Um, okay, so let's just say like, well, this is like a little boy head, right? Whatever. <laughs> Still let you know that these are heads. Um, so one way I do it is I actually kind of use uh, the marker and I'll actually go into some minor detail through the entire thing. Hold on, let me throw this guy's hairline on here. And I tend to see it a lot on the guys with straight hair. You know what I mean? Uh, not often do I see it on, the, uh, I usually see it like on the, like I said, George Clooney, George Clooney-ish type. And I just start finding some of the main ones, which tend to be kind of out of the uh, root area. The root area being the, uh, how, how do you say this? Like the, uh, uh, you know, kind of like where the hairline would be. You know, even though they don't have like a crazy hairline. I just start throwing directional lines here. Just some. But nothing, nothing immensely big. And I don't know why the black tends to emerge from there, even though they're they're going gray, or uh, you know if it's just a, I don't think it's just a style, but the black tends to emerge. And then I usually pull it from the bottom here, like where the ear is. I just throw these little like uh, almost like cross hatching lines, but they're not really cross hatching. You know what I mean? They're just singular lines. There's no crossing over. But I also kind of I always remember to follow the direction, and I spread them out as I'm going up. So as I'm doing. If you were to zoom in, I would do this. You know what I mean? Just kind of like spread them out as I go away from my uh, uh, target. From down, up, like that. From here, these are a little bit less. These are more kind of just kind of even. I mean, that's one way you can handle it and just leave that white. You know what I mean? That's one way. Um, the other way I can do it is I actually incorporate... Uh, I incorporate the, uh, the 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 this colored pencil, and I'm going to show you because I did that a lot. That's the way. This is more the way I did it all the time. I pull it from the bottom there. See, doing that same thing from the edges, and then they kind of have this. I might even throw these dots if they really have like a salt and color, salt and pepper type. I'll throw these dots all over the place. Again, more so just coming out of the root area. And it's up to you, and it's up to them, like, really how they look, uh, how much you do this. You know what I mean? Just throw a bunch of dots on there. It seems time-consuming, but it's not. It's very quick, especially on the caricature. It's pretty cool. pretty fast. So let's say I would just throw something like that. And then I would just go right here and lightly cover it. Lightly cover it with uh, this kind of colored pencil. I've seen some guys also uh, leave the scratches in there. Like they'll uh, they'll kind of leave the as they're they're filling that in. They'll leave this. 
as they're filling that entire space in. You know, I mean, make it look like a comic. This is just like ways again. I handle it. Um, I know there's a lot of different guys that handle it totally different ways. Um, and then let me handle this this other one over here. Let's throw his ear on there. This one would be. Uh, I would handle this very similar to the other one. One second. The last way is I would kind of handle the entire thing. Um, hold on. I would handle the whole thing in uh, marker. And this one's a little bit more dangerous. I don't know if I recommend this last one. Let me, let me get his hair shape in here. He's got a really huge hair shape. <laughs> The last way I've seen it uh, for gray hair is I've seen this kind of cross-hatching pattern almost through the entire hair. Like, again, I'm thinking directional. Always think uh, directional. You know, where is it growing out of? It, people tend to part their hair on one side or the other. Right? So just kind of remember that part of it. And I'm making sure the spaces are very big. You know what I mean? They're big because it's supposed to be gray. It's not supposed to be completely uh, black. You know. Uh, and again, we're all uh, within uh, kind of caricatures. You're, indication, you're indicating. You know what I mean? It's a pure indication. And that's kind of what, especially this one's about. You know what I mean? You're just kind of, again, it's very similar to like the cross-hatching, like... Uh, like comic strip style, uh, but just kind of a different version of that. And you can kind of fill this in as much as you kind of want. Um, so anyways, let me kind of go back over them. So this is number one, let's see, two, three. These are just three different ways that I handled it. You know what I mean? Um, different guys, like I said, handled in different ways. This one with a marker, I, I pull up from the root area and just throw some of the darks there and indicate it like that. Um, just using the marker. This one, I use the marker. I also throw some dots on there. Sometimes they have some salt and peppery kind of thing. And then I um, throw a very, uh, like, I, I use a colored pencil to kind of throw some shade on it. You know, just kind of light, make it look gray. And then this last one I'm using entirely kind of almost, almost this cross-hatching pattern. I'm not really cross-hatching. Again, pulling from the root. But um, it's basically this method, but just everywhere. You know what I mean? Uh, I just kind of pull that and make it, uh, utmost, um, the, the most important thing is you have to make it directional on all of these. You know what I mean? It has to grow with kind of the uh, where their, the direction their hair is going. And it tends to be the same. You know, like I said, remember, this area, that people tend to part their hair in some way. Even if there's no part, uh, their, their hair seems to grow out from this region right here. Uh, and from down here as well. Just kind of remember the direction. That's about it, guys. That's uh, one way to handle uh, gray hair within a caricature. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer it. Uh, if you have any other requests, you know, what is something that you're having a difficult time on? Because uh, you are doing these really quick drawings. Uh, if you're drawing caricatures from life or if you're drawing caricatures in general. Uh, I'm sorry, from life, they're quick. You know what I mean? So these are issues. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, please check out my other channels and I'll see you soon.